Greetings. Today we're going to deal with the black slave of Muhammad ibn Abdullah. This is according to Sahih Bukhari, uh, book 43, number 648. We are told it's narrated by Abdullah bin Abbas. Uh, it says, so I went to the upper room where the prophet was and requested to a black slave of his and so on. So you can just do a search, uh, control plus F and type black slave. You will see this hadith is actually quite long compared to the other ones. Hence why the search will be useful. But then you can read the whole hadith so you can get it in the quote unquote context because we know how some people get with that so-called context matter. I think it's quite interesting because I'm pretty sure that many people do not know about this. I know I'm probably going to hear or read all the excuses in the world or rationale in the world, but a fact is a fact according to this book. One thing that's interesting is that many people say that Sahih Bukhari is the most, um, I don't want to say most authentic because Sahih means authentic, but it is usually said that it's one of the most reliable, if not the most reliable collection of ahadith. And what is surprising is that um, even though this has been said, when it comes to Aisha and the age that she was not only when she got married, but especially when the marriage was consummated, in this case, when we have a symptom of picking and choosing, well, there actually, we're not really sure, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. That's what people do.